everyone, it's Dr. Russell. Today, we're gonna talk about the not so sweet truth about sugar. So last week, at least when this video was recorded, it was Halloween. So hopefully you found those tips to be helpful around you know, how to survive Halloween without going crazy. Um, so this week, just in keeping with that theme, I wanted to talk about sugar and you know, hopefully give you some more insight into why it's best to not eat it all the time. Um, so sugar, just because there's a lot of confusion as to what it is, sugar falls under the carbohydrate category. So we have three main macronutrients. So we have proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Obviously, there's different kinds of carbohydrates, so we think of complex versus simple. Um, so complex would be more like carbohydrates that we get in plants or fruit, you know, so things that are whole foods that also have great stuff in them like fiber and all the vitamins and minerals that you need to help digest and metabolize that sugar. Where we have issues is when we get into refined carbohydrates or refined sugars where they don't have all the fibers, they don't have all the vitamins and minerals because we've stripped all that out and just left the sugar on its own. So that is really damaging and harmful to your blood sugar, um, which in long term can affect other hormones as well, such as insulin and cortisol, because you have these spikes because they're not having fiber and usually other things like proteins and fats to kind of keep things stable and then they drop really quickly. Um, so that has all kinds of bad effects in the body, but a couple of things um, to think about is sugar itself is very pro-inflammatory. So anytime you eat and ingest sugar, you're gonna have insulin released at the same time to help bring sugar into the body, but insulin itself is a pro-inflammatory hormone. So anytime you're eating sugar, you're creating some inflammation in the body. The other thing to think about is sugar is what we call, it can glycate. So it basically can, it's sticky, so it can bind to other molecules, and that can obviously create a lot of damage because we don't want sugar binding to our DNA and proteins and vessels and things like that. So over the long term, it's it's very damaging. Um, and then just in recent years, and you know, there's so much more and more research regarding sugar affecting all kinds of conditions. Basically, almost every chronic health condition, um, in some extent, is related can be related to sugar excess sugar consumption. So obviously, things like diabetes, some of the normal stuff, but then we get into mental health issues, heart disease, um, you know all kinds of things can be related to sugar or caused by that. Uh, the other thing to think about is sugar is very addictive, so our brains are designed to want sugar, so that's why it, it can be something that's hard to kind of give up if you're used to eating it for the long term. So, you know, it's our brains crave it, so don't feel bad that, you know, you're wanting sugar, you see it around Halloween or the holidays, and, you know, you're thinking that's something you want to enjoy because your brain was designed to do that. It's a really quick, easy source of energy. So one of the main things I tell people when it comes to avoiding sugar is to make sure you're aware of all the hidden sources of sugar. So the key way to evaluate that is to actually read the labels on your packaging. So for example, here's a can of baked beans. Um, you know, you would think it's beans, it's got fiber, you know, they've got good sources of protein, this should be really healthy. But when you actually read the ingredients label, you start seeing there's actually a couple sources of sugar in here that you wouldn't think, again, for a savory um, dish that you would find uh, sugar hidden. So a lot of people look at the nutritional facts. They have added, um, this looks like an older can, but where it has like added sugar grams, I still, you know, they can be a little inaccurate in that um, estimation of those, so I don't totally trust it. But where they cannot lie is in the ingredients label. So they have to tell you what's in it. So if I look here, going down the line, we have organic sugar and then caramelized sugar syrup. So, you know, a couple sources, more than one source of sugar in beans that doesn't need sugar, right? It's beans. They've got fiber. They've got their own carbohydrates. They don't need anything added to it. Um, so as you go through your pantry, you know, start looking at the ingredients label and see where there are hidden sources of sugar. So the other tricky part with this is that it's not as though they just put everything as sugar on the ingredients label. It's not as though it's going to say sugar, 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 sugar. There are almost 80 different names that qualify as sugar at this point. Um, so some things are clear like sugar or corn syrup, things like that. But there are other things that sound more chemical. So maybe dextrin or maltodextrin. So it's not 
quite clear that it is sugar, but there's um, you know different forms of sugar that they can hide. So I would say if you're reading the ingredients and you're not quite sure what it is, if you don't have time to Google, maybe just put it to the side and assume that that's probably something you shouldn't be eating. So the simplest way to go about this is because this can be overwhelming is just to pick one item from the grocery store whenever you go. And so say, for example, beans, and then when you go to get your normal beans, read your ingredients. If there is any sugar on those ingredients, then look for another can of beans that doesn't have sugar. And do this every trip, so by, you know, in a couple of months, when you go for processed foods, you're ultimately getting rid of all those added sugar sources that you didn't uh, realize that were there. And don't assume that something, you know, there's no way that this could have sugar in it. Trust me, it's hidden in a lot of foods that you wouldn't think would have sugar. So hopefully that was helpful. So we talked about, um, you know, what sugar is ultimately, obviously the downsides of sugar, and then how to identify where there's sugar hidden in different things, because it gets hidden in a lot of places. So hopefully, um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer those in the comments. Mm -hmm.